Don't try doing another's duty. Don't try copying the other person. You just be yourself. Recognize who am I? What am I? What are my deficiencies? What are my strong points? Accept them. This life is a continuous progress. You cannot copy the other. You have to start off from where you are. Bhagavad Gita Chapter 3 Karma Yoga Verse chanting is followed by translation and commentary by Swami Mukundananda. Shreyan Tvatharmo Vigunaha Paratharma Svanushthita Svadharme Nidhanam Shreyaha Paradharmo Bhayavaha It is far better to perform one's natural prescribed duty, though tinged with faults, than to perform another's prescribed duty, though perfectly. In fact, it is preferable to die in the discharge of one's duty than to follow the path of another, which is fraught with Danger. The word dharma comes four times. This word dharma has got no exact English equivalent word or phrase. That is the problem that you know translators and commentators struggle with while translating these scriptures because each language has the meanings of its word from a certain reference point so that concept of dharma is very typical it doesn't have an equivalent expression in the english language in general you can say it refers to the duties, thoughts, codes of conduct, responsibilities that are appropriate to us. That is our dharma. You can say it is the central law of one's being. So all of us, based upon our present situation, we've got a particular dharma. A student has got a certain dharma. This is brahmachari life. A grihastha householder has got another dharma. A vanaprasti, now entering retired life, has another dharma. A sannyasi, a renunciant, has got another dharma. So all of us have a certain dharma based upon our station in life, our nature. So Sri Krishna is again telling Arjun, you know, your works, your profession, your career should be in accordance. You choose the dharma, the, the profession in accordance with your being and you will be comfortable. But then that doesn't mean that you remain there. You slowly start promoting yourself. Wherever you are, you start from there and you keep moving ahead. That is the spiritual life. All of us are different in different parameters. When people say, is this person ahead or that person ahead? Comparisons are always odious. But how will you compare? This person has got more detachment. This person has got more faith. This person has got more knowledge. This person has got more devotion. On what parameter are you comparing? And these parameters of ours, we've been building them over many lifetimes. So life is a continual progress. And wherever we find ourselves today, that's the consequence of everything we did in the past, in endless lifetimes. And now our dharma is to progress from there. So to progress, Sri Krishna says, Arjun, you keep doing your work. And keep progressing. And as you keep doing it, your dharma will change. 
just like there's a policeman he's got his dress uniform his dress in his in accordance with his dharma he is discharging that duty but then he is practicing spirituality practicing practicing then he becomes 55 60 and now he is totally absorbed always running to guru ji's ashram and at 70 he takes sanyas so now the color of his dress has changed he is now wearing saffron why that's in accordance with his dharma at that time so the policeman was where he was doing his dharma and cultivating the higher dharma moving upwards and as he moved upwards the external situation changed always accordingly so this life is a continuous progress you cannot copy the other you have to start off from where you are so shri krishna now finally once again says arjun don't try doing another's duty don't try copying the other person you just be yourself recognize who am i what am i what are my deficiencies accept them what are my strong points in a company they do swot analysis that's the first management theory you learn strengths weaknesses opportunities threats so i when i have to lecture to mba students i said did you do a swot analysis on yourself and <laughs> no, manager manage thyself why don't you do a swot analysis on yourself this is what i am this is who i am these are my assets these are my threats and now move up from there so do the dharma in accordance with your present situation keep your focus on growth and keep growing that is what the secret of life is all about so now this topic truly concludes out here now shri krishna is going to because of arjun's next question arjun asks 16 sets of questions and this chapter has the second one as well after the first verse so arjun asks a very important question you can read it in the next verse we will discuss this question which is so important and the answer that shri krishna gives